Hey guys, what's up? My name is Kira and I am the indie poet slash writer of the poetry book Older that can found on Am that can be found on Amazon. Uh, I also run two small businesses, one selling snake shed jewelry and the other one making stickers, keychains, pins, etc. So I wasn't really sure what kind of video I should do today. Um, I haven't uploaded in like a week, so I just kind of wanted to give you guys a little update of what's happening. Um, sorry, my rabbit. Um, but anyways, so uh, one thing that I've been doing recently is journaling and writing, you know, without... What's the word? Um, without fear? I don't know. I just had a whole like epiphany about journaling and notebooks and having like a safe place. So I'm going to talk about that a little bit today. Also, for those of you who don't know, I did rescue a cat with my boyfriend. Um, although he's primarily mine for now. His name is Loki. Loki, look. He's he's all he's like never been in my room before, so he's kind of like confused. Also, he probably smells Oliver. Um, we usually keep them in separate rooms, though. He's a very handsome man, though. Loki, Loki, what are you doing, sweetie? Hello. Look at the camera, sweetie. He's like, fuck this. Get me out of here. Anyways, so today I wanted to talk about the importance of having an ugly sketchbook or an ugly notebook. I guess it could be one or the other, um, or both. I mean, mine's kind of both. I only doodle in mine. I don't really sketch because my most of my artwork is primarily um, digital art. Sorry, I'm holding my tripod because my rabbit is back and he likes moving it around as you've seen in my other videos. But anyways, um, so yeah, that's pretty much what I'm gonna talk about today. For artists, I guess it could be a sketchbook. For writers, a journal. But anyways, mine's kind of both. Here it is. And I have like stickers of my own and I have stickers of like my friends, little eggy sticker and Totoro, etc. Um, I haven't filled up the back yet, but I'm working on it. Anyways, um, the importance of having a safe place, a notebook or a journal or a scrapbook or anything where you feel completely safe and unjudged and you could just write with freedom or draw with freedom and you don't have to worry about being it being ugly or bad you know and i feel like i have so many notebooks i bet a lot of you guys can relate to this i have so many notebooks so many everything and i always feel like i can't use them because i feel like i put this pressure on myself that you know what if i what if i like put my pen down on the paper and what i create isn't good and that thought really scares me sometimes, I'll be honest. Um, it's hindered a lot of my writing lately, but um, especially my no my debut novel, which is, you know, the <sighs> coming along slowly but surely. Same with Faces of My Life, but whatever. Um, but the whole point of having like an ugly notebook is that, you know, it's ugly. So you don't have to care about having anything, having these pressures put on you, you know? Um, I wrote a poem, if you've seen my other video, um, I wrote a poem about a guy, let's see if I can find it, I wrote a poem about a guy who ordered coffee. Yeah, it is 10.25 a.m., I am sitting in a coffee shop writing, the man next to me likes his coffee light and sweet. He smiles and walks away with his breakfast sandwich, and I can only wonder what kind of life he has lived to make a man as sweet as this. And that was on January 13th. Um, and it's just like, I don't really know how to describe it. It's just so freeing and it's so wholesome and pure, you know? Like, this is a safe place. No one has really seen inside this book but me. I'm going to share it with you guys, of course, because I, I share everything with you guys. I'm just very open like that. I don't mind talking about stuff like that. But for people that are a little bit more private about their life and, you know, do have certain thoughts and feelings or you know mental health issues depression stress from work your job literally anything um the whole point is just to be able to write whatever you want and just not be judged not by yourself not by other people and the, the something about that for me is just very beautiful that you could just have this safe place that no one can really take away from you you know what i'm saying um i i try to roll this notebook all the time i bring it in my backpack when i go out I bring it when I travel. I bring it like wherever I go. I mean, I just started it, but my pre previous ugly notebooks, etc. Maybe I'll go through 
my old ones and do like a video of like all my old ugly sketchbooks. But this is one of my favorite pages. I just added some of the paper stickers that I have. I don't know why. Uh, keep in mind, I am straight. Um, I wish I were bi. I don't know. Like, I feel like it'd be a little bit more interesting. But um, I don't know. I feel almost bad saying that sometimes that I'm straight because I feel like I'm boring in a way. But I don't know. Anyways, I'm straight. And lately I've been doing a lot of figure drawing with like nude girls. And I'm working on men currently, but I just, something about the shape, I get the shapes all wrong and whatever. But anyways, um, so these are some of the drawings I've done. I also have some of the little illustrations from my book that I use with my thermal printer. I have a little poem down here from um, my book, Older. I am what I am and there is no point in changing or twisting myself to fit a certain standard of what I should be. I also have a little to-do list up here for every day. So drink water, stretch, brush hair and teeth, eat breakfast, start my day. And it's just like little words of encouragement, you know, like things that keep me going. This is like a little sticker page. Like this is just a page where I'm just going to put random stickers. And this is a page of little clear stickers that I got from my friend Esther. Um, and I think I'm probably going to put more quotes here. I'm going to write them in pen, but the rest of it's blank for now, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Like, I don't know. For me personally, having this safe place is just so sacred, if that makes any sense. It's so like, it's important. And it's important to have a place where you can feel, I keep saying the word safe, but that's not even it really. It's just content at peace, you know, like just like unforgivingly yourself. Having a place where you can feel unjudged and loved and cherished and supported and I know I'm putting all this stuff in just like a simple dinky little notebook but like I promise you especially if you're an artist or a writer it helps how just buy any notebook it can be like one of those composition notebooks that you use in school like literally anything anything that's your ugly notebook or your ugly sketchbook where you could just doodle or you could just sketch or you could just write and the whole point is it doesn't have to be published. It doesn't have to be capitalized off of. It doesn't have to be put out there for the world. The only reason why I'm doing it is because I'm giving you examples. But I don't know. It's just a very sacred place. It's a very sacred thing to have something private. And whether you choose to share it or not, that's up to you, you know? I share it only because I am pretty much open about everything. Um, I'm just a very open person. But for some people who aren't, that's not for them. That's totally okay. So... 10 out of 10 would recommend one of these bad boys, um, any notebook. And you know, at first I was just gonna leave it blank, but then my roommate actually encouraged me to put my own stickers on it and other people's stickers and stuff to like, give it a flair, you know, make it my own, make it mine, you know, unique to me. So I put a lot, I put some of the stickers that I actually designed on it um, and then I put some of my friends I did the same thing with my iPad actually I might do a video on that where I pretty much put all the stickers that I've gotten from art trades from my art friends like online friends um, on my, the back of my iPad cover and the whole point is so that I can inspire myself to draw and to create and to keep going based off of my friends you know every time I see my iPad I'm inspired um, also, I, I keep waving my arms around. I don't know if you see. I don't know if you can see it, but I did get a new tattoo. Uh, it looks really, um, it's brand new. I have the second skin on it right now. Sorry, I'll have to move so you can see it a little better. Um, but anyways, it's, I got like a day or two left to, for it to heal and stuff. It's still going to continuously heal, etc. It's starting to enter the itchy phase though. So I'm like, Ugh. um, it's my first like real tattoo. Um, Yeah. I liked it. It was a good experience. Um, but the only thing, it just came out of stress and I don't recommend this, but, uh, basically what happened is me and my roommate, uh, it's like eight in the morning. I wake up to pounding on my door and these two big firefighters are standing there and they're like, you have carbon monoxide in your, uh, your apartment building. You need to evacuate now. Keep in mind, we have a lot of pets. Um, a lot of them being little, like small reptiles. So we had to not only get them all out and in their carriers as soon as, as quick as possible. They're not like dogs or cats where you could just scoop them. Um, B, we had to find a safe place for them that's warm because they need heat. They couldn't just sit in the car because where I live, it's currently like 26, it gets down to 16, 19 degrees sometimes. 
Um, so it was fucking cold. Uh, so we, we dropped them off at a friend's house. Then we had to figure out, you know, how long are we going to be out of our apartment, etc. We drove across the river, like, about a half hour away to get, um, breakfast. That's the word. And we were stressed out of our minds. And my roommate turns to me and goes, what do you want to do today? We have so much, like, time now. And I said, I was like, I don't know. And she goes, you want to get tattoos? And I was like, sure. Um, but I don't recommend doing that. Think before you do things. The only even reason why I got this one is because I've wanted this one since I was, like, 13. So, it's okay. But, yeah. Little story time to end the video with. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Um, and if you want to know more about me, I don't know, hit me up. I'll talk to you. I don't care. Uh, leave in the comment section below what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Also, if you want me to talk more about adoption, talk more about writing, art, etc. Um, my life, I don't know. Also, uh, if you've bought my poetry book, please, please, I'm begging you, leave a review. Um, any honest review, like, the more reviews, the better. Um, even if you just write the word good or eh. Like, just whatever you thought or felt. Like, I just want to know that, you know? Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Bye!